The only reason why he told him, he told him like I is because he knew for a fact he'll train. That's the main reason why I said it. It's because of the guy on his name, so he's trained. I've been farming quite a bit. But I'm level 70. Yeah, seems like it. To be fair, I've not really been doing anything. I've not really been farming. I've literally probably about 10, 20 minutes ago. I was actually playing as Vegeta. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi Chi? Yeah, I had a shave, <sighs> yes. Of course, as you can see. And it, well. It gets, well, I just get annoyed sometimes. When I've obviously got the tash and stuff. It irritates my nose. It gets annoying, so I just shave it off. Oh. Wow, there's quite a lot of. I'm gonna say, fucking hell, it's been quite a while to be fair with these side missions. To be fair, actually, it actually grew quite a bit. To be fair, it actually got quite. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I haven't been to Grandpa's place in a long time. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. <laughs> we got a keeper. Found some tasty looking food. It gets me. What the hell is she doing on the game? Um. <sighs> what the hell is she doing on the game? Unless if they did want to put her in the main game, like the main series, the main cartoon, but they just didn't. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. That's the only thing I can really think of him doing. That's the main reason why they put her in. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. They actually wanted to put her in the main series, but they just, they just didn't. Because this is supposed to be like the full series. Like the actual cartoon. You're playing the cartoon in a way. So it's like they've done it on purpose to basically say, yeah, she was going to be canon. She was actually going to be in the main series, but they just didn't put her in. Because the only thing that connects her from that is obviously we're Android 16, of, since that's his, well, her son's image.
because she's obviously in Dragon Ball Fires, but Dragon Ball Fires isn't really. Well, and plus Dragon Ball Fighters is set after Dragon Ball Fighters. Luffy and his friends too. live around here. Found some tasty looking food. Found some tasty looking food. Mm. Hello. <laughs> I like how you say cartoon. What do you think of Bonyon? The hell's that? Bonyon? I'm, say, I'm, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong, but. <laughs> we got a keeper! I don't get what you mean. I don't, I don't know who that is. Found some tasty looking food. <laughs> we got a keeper! Not got the right. Whoa! This stone's extra hard. I didn't get the bonus DLC thing. I didn't get that. Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. Because originally I could have got it, but originally what I was gonna get the game on disc, but then at some point, because They've did, done like a whole promotional thing. Oh. Hey! What? Huh? No. Gee? What now? Yes! Oh. Hey! Yeah. Uh, because originally I was going to get it on disc because there was this whole promotional Fish. thing that they did while well, that they're doing for the Dragon Ball Super Card game. And they said. On the video, it clearly says that the pro the promotional card is going to be in the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video game case. To basically say, you buy the game and then you get the card, because the card is the front cover of the game, where Goku's on Nimbus. That's the card. And then I find out... Yeah. That it's not, it's it's actually the promotional <laughs> card that you get in the box when you buy a booster box of that set. That yeah! comes out in February. Yes! Hey! So then, I thought, I don't really All seem right. the point of me buying it on this then. Do this. And I just thought, because obviously since it passed Christmas, I got... <laughs> one of the family members brought me a... Pumped up and ready to go! It brought me a uh, 15 pound credit for Xbox. I thought I might as well use it, and then I put the rest towards it and got this. So, te well, technically, I only paid because I traded in uh, I traded in Mortal Kombat 11. And so, technically, I only paid. I technically only paid about like 11 quid for this game. So yeah, there's a, the card game, well Dragon Ball Super card game, if you buy a booster box, you get a card, that's the pretty much the front cover of this game. Because I'm going to get three of them, because originally I wanted it so I could put it in my collection, but I'm obviously going to get three now, because... Uh, I've pre-ordered, well, I've only pre-ordered two. I've pre-ordered two boxes, so obviously I'm going to get it twice. But I'm going on February 10th, because the set comes out in February. And on February 10th, there's a place near me where it's like 20, 30 minutes away. And they're hosting a pre-release event. And then I've already put my name down. Well, I've put my name down to go there, and then I've, I've put my name down to buy a box as well. 
So obviously when I open the box, I'll get the card. Whoa, this one seems pretty tough. And the card, I reckon the card's gonna look pretty cool as well. Because it's a promotional rare foil. The card's gonna look really cool. Whoa, this one seems pretty tough. I'm going to do this. The guy's counting on me. I know I, I know all you lot got a, a finger promotion. I don't think we got it. I know that there were promotion like a pre-order bonus that you got a t-shirt. And obviously typical America getting fucking cool shit. That we miss out on. No, you should train some more. When they block, I do guard breaking melee attacks to to bring that to bring the stun bar down. Yeah, but I know. Yeah, you can do stuff like that, but you can infinitely, if you time it right, within the nearly every single character can do it. If you do when you do the third swing, you can cancel it. When you do the teleport, you're canceling it, but the computer is constantly blocking all the time, and then you just keep doing it, and then it breaks the guard, and then. You can pretty, <laughs> you can actually pretty much like manipulate the game again for a character. It's it's actually good with Piccolo off a lot of energy. because Piccolo Found attacks like a follow-up attack Found when it breaks the guard, food. like brings the stun bar down. Because uh, you can do the full combo, knock them, and then do that straight after. Because when you do the last hit, you can actually cancel moves into it, like actually cancel a move to go into. But with Piccolo, when you do is, it automatically follows them and then hits them again and then does again and then you just keep repeating that. Easy. Because to be fair, whoa, this one uh, seems pretty tough. <laughs> Vegeta seems like the the broke like the most broken character on the game. Whoa, this one seems pretty tough. Because there is a uh, big bang attack. Because the big bang attacks, since it's it's like an open aerial attack, and it does a lot of damage. Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. I think Vegeta is the only I'm character that I've been ready to go. Vegeta is the only character that I've really unlocked skills for. Oh, I need yeah, to go my yeah. He's obviously got. He's gonna be the main character. So he must. But yeah, when you can see, if you cancel at the right time, you can just keep him from the combo. Should train some more. Hey. Ooh.
so weird in this game. He's he's super Vegeta, but when he Man loses to Cell, you can see him as Super Saiyan. The Super Saiyan Vegeta again at the same point, but we don't get to transform ourselves. Yeah, it's because if you remember when, because it's following the cartoon. Because when Vegeta goes Super Saiyan near the Cell bit, he stays Super Saiyan. Farewell. Huh? All the way through pretty much that all like them literally those episodes, Vegeta stays in Super Saiyan. Now that that's over, I think it's time to train. It's pretty much doing what Goku and Thingy are doing now. Only, that's the only reason, because it's 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 to follow in the cartoon. Because within those three, like there's like those couple of episodes when he's fighting Cell, or he's leading up to fight Cell, is in Super Saiyan. He doesn't go back until Cell beats him. And it's like when you was talking about yesterday, saying, "Oh, Vegeta, you don't really see him go Super Saiyan 2." It's like. It really, it don't technically go Super Saiyan 2, because it's like when he does the big bunk up, it's like a, it's like Super Saiyan, but it's extra, but it's not Super Saiyan 2, because it technically goes Super Saiyan 2 for when, uh, when he goes Majin, and that's the reason why he can keep up with Goku with Super Saiyan 2. Barbie says we know Goku allowed him to knock him out. Well, allowed Vegeta to beat him. Even though we knew the androids were coming, we still couldn't stop them. Yeah. Yo! Huh? Yeah! Uh huh? Vegeta uses Super Saiyan Vegeta when he fights Cell and then Cell, but when you fight Cell huh? Juniors, he's base, basically Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Trunks has spike hair instead of being Ponytail, which just looks weird. Looks weird what they did. Yeah, but they do, they do. When... How is that sound? <laughs> the boy has it very... When he's when they fight in Cell Juniors, ah. it's same again. Vegeta is in Super Saiyan, and then Trunks is in that form, is in the other ascended form. Because that's the one thing they didn't show you, Thank you. on this. Because <laughs> Trunks goes Super Saiyan as well. It does that Super Saiyan form for when, because he right. fights. So this uh, strong guy's Cell. over there, huh? And then Trunks does that form. Because when Vegeta gets knocked out, when Vegeta gets beat by Cell, he fights Cell and then he does that form. I'm surprised I can even remember this because it's been so long since I've watched it. Because that's the only thing, because there's loads of things that they've not shown. Get to the cell bit. Fingy's got his head on. Yeah. 
They both are ascended when flying, so Doom is a perfect self troop. Scourge Ultra when flying, perfect. So, what I'm saying is Vegeta is Super Saiyan, not ascended like he should be. Yeah, but Vegeta doesn't go ascended. He only goes ascended for when he fights Cell. Because then when he go, when they when they go to the Cell games, Vegeta doesn't do it anymore. Vegeta does, doesn't do the big bump. He doesn't do the bump up. He just stays normal. When he's fighting Cell Juniors, but Trunks does it. Might cause some trouble later. I'm going to do this. Because it obviously takes uh, it takes a lot of energy to do it. And that's obviously the soul. Oh, it does. The rest of the stars are watching the I watched the episode and over and over when he has like, strong strength from the day. Better hit the books when I get back. Are you sure? Because... The only time... I'm certain the only time Vegeta goes Super Might Saiyan 2 is late. when. Best to deal with this now. Well, technically Super Saiyan 2 for when it's the Boo Song right. when he goes Magic. Let's do this. Yeah. Hope this brings me closer to my dad. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I remember especially when the Cell Juniors attack, how Trunk and Vegeta look looks are transformed. I'm certain Vegeta doesn't. Vegeta just goes Super Saiyan because he because he, he even says it because he even says it on the he says it on one of the Dragon Ball Super episodes so when Future Trunks comes back and then he says because it's when Vegeta. Because he even says when he's going up against Future Trunks again, Vegeta goes blue and then Trunks does that form. He does the bump up form and he says that, that technique's pathetic because it it wastes too much of your energy. And I'm certain to hell on the original on the original drag when you're fighting the Cell Juniors, Vegeta doesn't do it. He just stays normal to the same. But Trunks does it. Because Goku never goes Super Saiyan 2 because he can't. And then the only person that goes Super Saiyan 2 for the first time is Gohan. Because that's the reason why he made Gohan fight Cell. Because he knew he could go Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> we got a keeper. Because <laughs> think keeper. of it this way. If Vegeta could go Super Saiyan 2, what's the point in fucking Gohan fighting him? No one can't go Super Saiyan 2 yet, because they're just going, that bump up, it's just an ascendant of a Super Saiyan, but it's not, it's just like an upgrade of a Super Saiyan, but it's not Super Saiyan 2. Super Saiyan 2 is way powerful, because if Vegeta could go Super Saiyan 2, what would be the point in going going Super Saiyan 2, if Vegeta is already Super Saiyan 2?
Because Gohan's the first ever person to go Super Saiyan 2. Because you know when Trunks is in that form because his air spiked up. I just remembered. Because his air spiked up. Vegeta goes Super Saiyan when it's in the Boo song. <laughs> All right. I wonder if Fortune Teller Baba can see what I'm doing in her crystal ball. Because when, because when Goku and Vegeta go up against Boo, and then they, when they fuse, at that point, Go On was Go On was powerful. Because that's when obviously that's when Go On goes mystic. He is technically power. He is powerful than Vegeta, and obviously because Gohan gets too cocky because he's powerful. He's powerful enough, and he knows he can beat Boo. He obviously is too cocky, and then obviously that's when he gets absorbed. And then that's when Vegeta gets into it. So if if oh, Goku yeah. and Gohan fused, it'd have been a whole different story. If they are 100% ascended, both buffed, longer hair, even Vegeta looks taller to me. Vegeta don't, it's like even when he does the ascended thing, it doesn't go high, it doesn't go high, it doesn't go within high, it just looks bigger. It's just don't the same with wrong, Frieza. Though. Otherworld isn't half bad. It's like when Frieza does it. It's the same height, but he's bigger. That's all it is, he's just a bigger build. It's the same tallness. Because when when Trunks goes Super Saiyan, it's just a little bit spiked. Then when he goes Ascended, it's full spiked. But it's not Super Saiyan 2. It's just Ascended Saiyan. Super Saiyan. It's like I said, if they were, if they could go Super Saiyan 2, what was the whole point in Go on going Super Saiyan 2 when he was the only one that could beat Cell for going Super Saiyan 2? These two are already Super Saiyan 2, it's like, what's the point then? Because, Go like I said, Goku knew that he could do it. And that's the reason why he allowed half of the things to happen. What happens? Unless if they changed it in... I've just remembered, because I've not watched... Uh, I've actually not watched, um, oh shit, the, is it Dragon Ball Z Kai, I, I've not watched that, because I know that some things are different in it, but I've not watched it, I've only watched the original. Yeah, Goku does it. Cause I, I know I remember the scene. Goku does it. 
But it doesn't last long because it takes up their energy. If Vegeta doesn't do it. I'm certain Vegeta, when they're going up against the South Juniors, Vegeta doesn't do it. He just stays normal Super Saiyan. But Trunks does it. I know what you mean, but what you are thinking of, Trunks, when he ascends, when fighting Perfect Cell, the slow form, Vegeta doesn't use that, but he uses the first level of Ascended throughout the Cell Saga. That's why they call that, that's why Cell calls that the Super Vegeta. Vegeta doesn't do it. He doesn't, I'm certain to hell when he's fight when they're fighting the Cell Juniors, Vegeta doesn't do the form. It doesn't go ascended. He stays in Super Saiyan 1. I'm certain he does. He stays in Super Saiyan 1. It doesn't do any ascended power. Because it's like what I said. I'm certain there's a Dragon Ball on the Dragon Ball Super episode when Trunks comes back, he starts fighting Vegeta and then he shows him God form and then Trunks does it, it goes big and then Vegeta says, he says that forms, it's a pathetic form because it uses too much energy. And I'm certain he says something along the lines of Cell, like he didn't do it in Cell. Because that's the main reason why it gets his fucking arse handed to him. Because he doesn't do it. If he actually did that form, he would have been actually be able to actually withstand fucking Sal Juniors. But it doesn't. He gets his fucking ass kicked. <laughs> to probably further on, because he probably knew about how Gohan could go Super Saiyan 2. And obviously he does it by rage because everyone's getting hurt and then that's when Gohan... Well, 16 this gets killed. Oh, everyone else garbage. is getting obviously... Oh, man. This meat looks so up good! By the Sal Juniors, and then that's when he cracks, and then he turns Super Saiyan 2. Because well, obviously, when he fights Cell, hey. that's when he goes, I'm Super Vegeta. <laughs> huh? But then, after that point, when Cell beats him, it doesn't do it anymore. Because he knows it's not powerful enough. He's just boosting himself up. He's just wasting too much energy. All right. It's like when Goku, you never see him do, after a certain point from s pretty much s as soon as, <laughs> as soon as after Cell Saga, you never see Goku go Kaioken anymore because it uses too much energy. And that's the whole why reason why you never see, uh, you never see K Super Kaioken because it too uses way too much energy. This is how I'm going to do this engine. Trunks uses against cells. 
Vegeta and Cell. Vegeta and Cell and Goku knew how slow it was. They never used it because after Trunks taught them. Was taught by Cell. He used the first ascended level Vegeta uses to win fine in perfect Cell. Well, huh? <laughs> All right. Hey. Yeah, that's when Vegeta does it. It goes full ascended. Time when to head fights. to Jiro's hideout that Krillin and the guys found before. So, are you ready to begin your training? So, are you ready to begin your training? No. Because that's the only time Vegeta does it. It doesn't go full. It doesn't do it fully. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? It goes full ascended for when he fights in Imper perfect Cell because that's what gives him the boost to beat him. But the twat that he is, because Cell's like, oh, I've not got my true power, blah, 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 blah. It allows him to do that. If he didn't, he could have killed fucking Sal there on spot, but he didn't. And then after that point, when Sal beats him, he doesn't do it again. And the only time that you see him go Super Saiyan 2, it's when it's round the Buu Saga. Because when he fights Goku and he goes Majin, Majin Vegeta is technically Super Saiyan 2, but it's not. Because he's got that power boost to give him Super Saiyan 2, but it's not Super Saiyan 2. Because that's the reason, like I said, that's the reason why it, it can go up against Goku because Goku's Super Saiyan 2. Yeah. Vegeta never uses the second ascended level like Trunks. He told him because it's too slow, so he uses the ascended for speed and power. So what was this whole point of what 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 the hell have we just been talking about? Oh, we pretty yeah. much we pretty much fought the Red Ribbon Army not too far away. We're from pretty here. much saying the same thing. Because you do realize this, that full ascended two, that's not full ascended. I mean, that's not it's not got a level. Full ascended is when the big. Because you do realize when he says uh, the the second level, it means Super Saiyan 2. That's what he means. Because the only person that goes Super Saiyan 2, as you know, is Gohan. And that's when, when, when Gohan does it, that's why Cell's so fucking surprised. Because he didn't know that he could do it. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> And then All go. Right. And then obviously, when the big, huh? when the big and buff, that's ascended. That's full ascended. Yeah. What do I do?
They called it Super Saiyan 2 grade. Second grade and Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 3rd grade. Vegeta uses 2nd grade, which is beyond the Super Saiyan, but never used 3rd grade like Trunks oh did that one time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. yeah. So, what I don't like, I said, what have we been talking about? Because, like I said, unless if it does do that, uh. I've not watched I've not watched Super Saiyan Kai. Super Saiyan Kai. I've not watched Dragon Ball Z Kai because I know on I know on Dragon Ball Z Kai they say different things. I've not watched that. I've only watched the original back from nineteen ninety nine all the way up to obviously Boo Saga. I've not watched Dragon Ball Kai because I know that they say different things. See ya! Goodbye. Thanks. I sure am glad Ader's better now. And I wish Ader would have met 16. Yeah. Well, I would normally read all this stuff, but I, I don't want to read them, so. Right. Next side. Mission. I think I'm gonna. After I've done this side mission, I'm gonna go since uh, i've not had anything to eat yet so plus i'll be going out i'm going out soon anyway literally within like 20 minutes i'll be going out thank you They say ascended, but people online use grade or for some reason. Why the hell did they use grade? It's just ascended. They don't really ascend past that point. Ascended? Why would there be ascended grade? Grade 1, 2, and 3. That makes no sense. It's ascended. Ascended is when they're big and buff. Pretty much just just great example. It's just think of Broly. I wonder how Master Roshi and everyone are doing. Because that's why they call Broly the legendary Super Saiyan because he goes ascended, ascended. He goes Super Saiyan, but he goes ascended of ascended. He's not Super Saiyan 2, but he's like the same power as Super Saiyan 2. That makes no sense. Like, why the hell do people call it grade? It's just an ascended form of Super Saiyan, that's it. Because you don't see him do Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan Grade, Super Saiyan 2 Grade 1, Grade 2, Grade 3, then Super Saiyan 3. No. It's just ascended, it's just ascended a form of a Super Saiyan. And it's like I said, that's the main reason why they call Broly the legendary Super Saiyan, because he's ascended, ascended of ascended. He's doubled it. But obviously Broly isn't the legendary Super Saiyan. Even Goku's not the legendary Super Saiyan. The person that's the legendary Super Saiyan is Bardock. Hey! Greetings! Hey! <laughs> hey! Huh? Howdy. Yep. Did that say le did that just say level 54? Yeah. That says level 54. I'm going to get me ask it.
Very well. <laughs> huh? Yep. Huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> There was a blast fighting Krillin after all this time. Right, anyway.